Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Super Kai Guy channel. Do you see a problem with this picture? I sure do. Those fog lights definitely do not match the rest of the design and modern look of the car. So today we're changing them to the same color temperature LEDs. This shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes total if you have worked on cars before. Hyundai recommends removing the bumper cover completely to replace the bulbs and the fog lights, but of course we're not doing that as that's a big and risky job. I will show you a much easier way. So let's get started. In order to do this safely, I throw a chuck behind the rear tire to make sure the car will not roll back and then jack it up and put a dolly under the front tire. The jack stays in place under a little bit of tension as well to give me two points of safety. You can of course put the car on jack stands and that will work as well. The idea here is just to give yourself a couple extra inches so it's easier to work under the car. You will only need a couple of things for this job, a trim removal tool and a 10 mil socket. Next you're going to climb under the car and remove 7 bolts. What we're trying to do here is remove the plastic underbody panel and get access to the back of the fog lights. If you have one of these impact drivers, it only takes a few seconds to deal with the bolts. I really recommend getting one of these trim removal tools as it makes life so much easier. You can of course use a flathead screwdriver if you don't have one, but you will most likely break a couple of clips doing so. I got a set of 100 clips and the tool for only 10 bucks on Amazon if anyone's interested. Once all of the clips are removed, the plastic can be slid forward and out of the way. It only took a total of 5 minutes to get to this point, so even if it's your first time, it shouldn't be a big job at all. Alright guys, so these are the LEDs that I'm going to be installing in the Hyundai Kona, the Ice Kids uh, Classic S1. I'll have the links down in the description of course if you'd like to purchase one from Amazon. They run about $25, $26 and they usually have like a $5 to $10 coupon. Uh, it says up to 2000% brighter, right there. Plug and play, uh, the temperature keeps cool since it has a fan, very cool feature, longer lifespan. Here in the back it just kind of expands more on that information, so longer lifespan, better visibility, 200% brighter than halogens, uh, 5 to 10 minutes plug and play, well that depends on the car I'm sure. Heat dissipation, you know, since it has a fan, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let's take them out, nice little packaging. Put that on the side, have your manual, so this is going to tell you a lot of the safety stuff, I'm sure, you know, the locking ring, how to install it, but you just put it in and twist it, very easy. You have a couple of pictures that show you as well, so that's good, you can read that if you want, and some business cards. Now the actual LEDs, let's check them out, okay, so I took one out. Take the rest of the stuff out. Oh wow, they even include some little white gloves. All right, so you got your gloves to work in. This is to protect the LED, so you don't want to be touching this with your bare hands. Um, you also don't want to be touching it with your the halogen bulb with your bare hands if you're ever going to reuse it or keep it as a spare. They give you a little keychain, or not really sure what this is, but cool. All right, so this is metal construction. You have a fan to cool off the uh, LED because these do get hot so you want to make sure it runs cool and doesn't cause any issues. It has three little LEDs inside the unit here and then same three on the other side. This is also metal, nice rubbery or silicone gasket on here so there's no leaks. Cable to plug in, just not a lot to it guys. They have, these have gotten a lot sleeker. I, I remember a couple years ago you'd have to have like a couple dongles here and stuff. Now this is just plug it in and plug into the car. So let's go bring these back to the car, plug them in and see how they look in comparison to the original halogen. I think it's going to make a big difference in how the car looks when you're running your fog lights. So let's get to it. All right, so we're going to slide under the car and your bulb is just right there. So you have to obviously remove the connector. Okay, that's easy, just comes off, put that to the side and now Twist. That's it. All right, so I got the new one. Okay. 
Okay, done. And now we just need to plug it in. Clipped, clipped, done deal. Now that we have one of them done, you can see how easy it is to replace these fog lights and look at the difference. It's huge and it matches perfectly. Also, I do apologize for the noise in the previous clip, but I wanted to show you in real time how long it takes and the cicadas aren't stopping for at least another month. Now, let's finish the job by doing the same on the other side. Twist the bulb to unlock, pull it out and insert the new one, lock it in place and plug in the connector. As easy as that. And here you can see the fan going and making sure the LEDs don't overheat. And there you have it everyone, not nearly as hard as it looks. To finish the job, I put the underbody panel back using the bolts and plastic clips and took the car off the jack stand. Well, that's all I have for you today and I know this isn't as easy as on some cars, but honestly nothing to be afraid of here. I think it should have came from the factory this way and matched the rest of the car. And you also get an added benefit of better illumination on turns. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this upgrade. If this video helped you change your fog lights, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more automotive content. I'll see you guys in the next one.